Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went on a Polaris normal loot server and we're going to go from absolutely nothing to live raids, rich bases, and getting a ton of high tier loot. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal, I'll be doing much more Unturned content. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos, each one helps the channel more than you think. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you're watching and you want to claim your prize, please join my Discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going to run another one which is a spectral gem skull bandana, which was kind Kindly donated by Bradley, huge shout out to him. To have a chance of winning this mythical, make sure to drop a like, subscribe and comment something below. If you are a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. Before we head into the video, I would also like to shout out today's sponsor. Are you guys looking to start your own Hunter network, whether it's for survival roleplay or simply just to play with your friends? Then make sure to check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is currently doing a huge giveaway where you can win an Xbox Series X or PS5. There are 10 entry methods by joining their Discord to purchasing a server, every stands a chance of winning. If you complete all 10 and 3 methods, you also earn an extra 50 entry points. Don't miss out, make sure to go to pine.host slash giveaway to enter now. Not into giveaways? No worries, Pine Hosting has you covered. Build your own server in minutes from the full range of games that they offer. They have top-notch performance, user-friendly features where you can install plugins and mods instantly and manage your server very easily. Global server locations where you can play with low latency from anywhere, DDoS protection where you can protect your server from attackers and very affordable pricing. If you guys are interested, make sure to use the code LDG for 30% off, link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, I'm currently joining Polaris. I have absolutely nothing, I am pretty sure. And I think the server just wiped a few days ago too. So we're not gonna have literally anything. Yes sir, we are in completely naked, beautiful. I actually have two guns in my vault, never mind. Okay, I thought it wiped, but apparently not. It's all right. So currently we'll be a bit solo, but I may be in a duo later on. We will see. I hear people wearing clothes inside, so let's just take out a gun. Are we literally about to get our first kill? Yeah, there's a dude right there. There we go, he's dead. And uh, he has some clothes. Another crazy. let's wear these clothes. Beautiful. Bunch of meds. Let's actually take everything, so we'll salvage them. So some meds also. Alright, great start. Racks to riches, kind of. But yeah, the server is full. It's not vanilla, it's just it has normal time slot. So it's gonna be one item per zombie mostly. So it's not gonna be that easy to actually get loot. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do a Polaris run. We're gonna try to get ourselves a pretty decently sized base. We're going to try to go from absolutely nothing to trying to do a couple of raids. You know, doing some quests, building ourselves a decently sized base, farming. There's a lot of people on right now too. So that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to farm a bit. And we'll go try to find ourselves a decent base location. Today I want to build not too far from the main road. Which is the one next to construction area. The one next to a truck and to the mines. Those are always pretty good areas. And there we go. We got ourselves a bunch of rope. Great. It's enough for a bed. What do I really, really want? Some sort of axe or a chainsaw or something like that. Now this server, there's a shop system, by the way. I do have a bit of money. You can buy some really good stuff like drills. I'm pretty sure you cannot buy any raiding gear though or weapons. You can buy like crafting items basically. Pretty sure they also removed gunpowder from here. So the only way to get gunpowder is to farm it. I'm not entirely sure about that though. But obviously the main thing that I will be doing is I will be farming uh, this whole time. Now there's a town over here so let's loot it really quickly. Maybe we will get lucky, get ourselves some loot. There's zombies here so there's probably nobody for now. I'm gonna be picking everything up that I find, salvaging them. Because we're going to need as much metal as possible for sure. Alright so I farmed a bit of zombies and I managed to have enough to buy a drill. Now I cannot buy literally anything else because it was quite expensive and I think I had money from before. So this drill over here is literally all of my savings. So what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna start just using it to farm trees. I'm gonna build a hopefully a decently okay base for now. It won't be anything big though obviously, it'll be like probably a 2 by one with a, an airlock. Oh yeah, this is the area somewhere around here where I wanna build. I think it's a great area, a lot of people do go by here. And if we build like a sniper tower or something, that would be great. We could pick them off when they're walking by. So, my duo joined. 
great. Now I have this weird circle around me. I think it's some sort of a bounty, man. Because when you open the map, you could see where I am the whole time. It's kind of weird. It's kind of stupid, though. I, I just got it randomly. So I think the whole server is coming towards me to try and kill me, which is uh, honestly amazing. But at least I'm not gonna be alone. Our base is not even finished yet. This can go terribly wrong. I'm just gonna continue building base. If people do decide to show up, then I guess we could just try to kill him. We'll make ourselves the airlock over here. Wall. Yep, and there are shots extremely close. Wait, where is my floor on the floor? There we go. Put that there. Put the door. We need to have more wood. Yeah, I think I have enough for roofs. At least one. Yep, we'll do that there. Yeah, all I need is one more. I can actually probably make it into metal. Nope, I cannot. I'll just shove down a couple more trees. And then our base would be technically finished. Place, a lot of shots. Oh, there's so many. Alright, he's dead. There's much more. Hit him. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I killed him. Okay, uh, he has a Polaris flower. Bro, I need to depot. I left the door open, man. Let's close that. Bro, I have the bounty on me, man. The whole server is coming for me. And we're literally next to our base. The whole server is gonna know where our base is. I don't even know what you get at the end of a bounty, to be honest. I don't even know if you get anything. There we go, I made myself a bunch of crates. Let's put items that we got in here. I'll keep one of the crazies in here too. Let's make ourselves some meds. Oh, well, we defended the first wave, I guess. If you were gonna call them that. Let's see what this dude had. Polaris Rose. He didn't have anything, he just had a gun and two flowers. That's basically it. I mean, I'll take it. Just depot it inside. There's shots going on. I still have the stupid bounty on me, man. Bro, I don't know where they are. I just hide in the smoke. Oh yeah, I saw them. Just two guys. One dead. Oh, I'm dead. He should be so low. I almost killed the man. Yeah, he lost the bounty then. Yeah, he's running away. You could see him where he is on the map. He's literally running away from us. You could just hide in the safe zone, actually. Do we have any guns in here? Yeah, we have this. It has no ammo. There's a magazine here, though. Let's go back. I mean, I did kill one of them, and he did seem kind of geared. Yeah, they're literally just running away. Yeah, this was my loot. They didn't even bother to loot me. Check out what the other guy loot had. We're gonna try to kill him. Yeah, he's right over there. Hit him a couple of times. Yeah, I see him in the water. He's dead. I'm getting shot at. Oh, he's up there. Oh, I died. Bro, there's so many people over there. Alright, so those guys left. We're just gonna pick up what loot there is. There's a loot pile over here. He had a kinney. Rainbow beret. Pretty sure I killed another guy here. Yep. This is the guy that I eliminated. There's some stuff. He has a grill with a drum. I'll take that. Alright, well, kind of got a bunch of guns, actually. Keep in mind that this is one times loot. So it's not that easy to get, actually, loot in the server. Alright, there we go. Easy. A uh, bunch of meds, too. So it's a bunch of guns. Alright, let's go home and depot this. Now, probably our next step is we're going to try to get ourselves lotuses from hordes. Meaning that we need to get ourselves copper coil. Very close to our base, though, there is the ship where we can get copper coil from there. And a lot of, not a lot of people go there, so it's kind of safe. So that's probably what we'll focus on for now. And then we'll do ourselves some hordes, get ourselves some lotuses. Go for filters, and then go to the dead zone, get ourselves high tier loot, and completely annihilate the whole server. Alright, so we're farming construction for tape, rope, generators, blow torches, all sorts of good items. Pickaxes, maybe jackhammers. A very important loot for Polaris. There we go, we got ourselves a gauss can too, that easily can be turned into a generator. Back in base, pretty good metal run. Our uh, shots in the background, we'll go for that very, very soon. Oh, I made a battery by mistake. Oh, that's a waste. We could just salvage it and get the metal back, to be honest. Made ourselves our first locker, so put ourselves all of the good items, and we can make ourselves the horde. We'll get the copper coil from our vault, and first horde beacon has been crafted. Great. We also got ourselves a broken gauss mask from this run. Pretty good. Got ourselves a Moses toe. Put the broken gauss mask in there. These cans, they'll be useful later on. And I'm gonna TPA to my teammate so that we can go and kill whoever is shooting. I'm gonna run around with Moses for now, so I really love this gun, man. Same time, we're gonna have ourselves a Kinney, so it's gonna be a pretty deadly combination. There's a guy there. My guy's just chilling behind a tree. Oh, he has a lot of loot on him. Bunch of guns, grenade. Bro, he has so much random junk, man. A lot of scrap we can get from this. Let's take all of this metal. 
I really want to start going to military though so that we can get ourselves more geared kills. Because these guys, honestly, they just have town loot. I think there's more people around. Where's the guy in the water? There we go. Completely sniped. Any good loot? I don't think he has anything. Oh my god, he has a bow and arrows. Oh, feels bad. That's all the loot he had. Alright boys, it is time to do the horde beacon over at the ship. Let's hope we get ourselves more than one lotus. Because I really don't understand the server. Sometimes I got one, sometimes I got two. I think there's like a whole random factor here or something I really don't understand. Oh, the Mega Zombie's right here! Bro, I didn't see him. Where's that? There we go. Alright, I think, yep, it popped. How many did we get? We got two. Alright, one for each person. Great. Alright, we'll put those in vault in our little tiny vault. So that at least they're a bit safe. And so I think we're not even gonna go to home yet, actually. Let's just continue farming a bit. Let's refill our Merlin. Alright, so I should have everything in order to make the gauze mask, actually. So that's currently what I'm going to be doing. Yep, cans, there we go, great. Wait, I'm missing something. There we go, we got rope. We should have more. There we go, another one there. We really need to start upgrading base. Yep, filter has been crafted, and now what we need is the broken gauze mask, which we do have. And we got ourselves a gauze mask. Absolutely lovely. That's going straight in vault. Don't want to lose it. We could dump these. So there's another gunpowder and another crazy. Yeah, we're doing pretty good progression until now. Very soon we'll go do a dead zone run, but first I think we should continue upgrading base. I think we should make it a bit larger. So that when we get ourselves some actually good decent loot from the dead zone, then we can have somewhere to store it. There's an airdrop passing by. I think we should go for it, man. We can get some really good loot from there. We can get penumbras and all of that. Definitely would be an upgrade from Merlin's and uh, SMGs. Bro, a guy logged off here. He has actually good guns. What? I mean, I'll be using this. So an also gun at least with a scope. Perfect. There's a guy there. Solo. There we go. He's dead. The airdrop is gonna land right over here. Now, if there were people, they definitely know about us. I'm gonna check out what loot this dude had, though. He had a bedroll falling off. Oh, he had some. Okay, load. A bunch of guns, ammo. I'm getting shot at. Oh, he's right there. Hit him. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, I actually headshot him. He's so low as well. Alright, we TP'd back. Oh, there's a lot of shots going on. Oh, no, we're gonna die. Yep. Ah, oh, we lost this airdrop. Yeah, the whole server showed up, man. Alright boy, solo, dead zone run, finally. Gunpowder, aiming for gunpowder. Armored plates, bevlar mostly. You know, kind of everything. I'll be picking everything up for sure. Let's hope that they give us a lot of gunpowder though, so that we can do a raid. Gun parts, armored plates. Gun oil is probably the most unused item from here too. So oh, zombies, bro, reload. Come on, man. Those spitters are so annoying. I don't think I actually have a lot of ammo on me. I kind of came unprepared. When we lost that airdrop, I kind of just decided to come here i should have brought more ammo though for sure oh yeah we killed the majority of them still a few running around yeah there we go we got ourselves a drum for it there we go got ourselves gun oil armored plates another gunpowder all right not too bad actually could have been much much worse i'm gonna check out another small area at the back there's a few zombies there and there's a gun crate so so we can actually get ourselves we barely got any good loot actually let's just upgrade our top and our vest to mercenary. I think I got like three gunpowder this whole run. Yeah, there are a few zombies here. Great. We gotta do this jump. Gun oil. Now let's check out what this box over here has. Oh, a Brenter. Oh, that's actually great. Bro, that's perfect. That's exactly what I really wanted, man. Alright, let's get out of here. I got the most important weapon, in my opinion, to raid with. Oh, that's great, man. Alright, we're back. Epic. Now it's time to start placing uh, all of the items that we got from that run. These armor plates, I'm actually probably gonna do them into lockers so that we get ourselves even more space. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. 
Alright, second horde beacon time. I brought an axe. My teammate has a jackhammer. Could have probably brought the drill or something, but it's alright. Let's get ourselves more lotuses. I think I'm either gonna to just put them into C4 this time. So we can start doing some raids. Oh, we should have killed them all. Yep. Horde beacon done. Two more lotuses obtained. Great. Let's go. My first insane base raid. Two C4. One detonator. Was it not enough? Bro, how was that not enough, man? But after this, we will no longer have any more raiding gear. And we would need to refarm. Let's just hope we get profit from this. And we're in. Looks like a few wardrobes. Junk. Junk. Great start. Great insane first base raid. Tape. Uh, Metzel ammo. That's literally it. That's all we got. Huge disappointment. Alright, so we found this. Now, we actually do have one C4. I think it's this base's claim, so we're gonna have to build the leathers from a bit far away. So we're just gonna have to farm a bit, no problem, we'll make a bunch of leathers. We can make twig leathers, but we need, I'm um, pretty sure it's tape, and I don't really wanna waste tape for leathers right now, since we don't really have that much. But we have just the one C4, maybe we're lucky, I don't know. We'll, we'll just build up there, check out what's going on over there. Hopefully we'll get ourselves something good, man. I fell off, bruh. There's a lot of bases in this, and since it's close to the dead zone, there may be good loot inside. First raid was a huge failure. Got absolutely nothing. Bro, I'm trying- I'm falling off each time, and these letters are so messy to climb on. <laughs> you can't really land on- oh, there we go, finally. We got, we got ourselves a third ladder. We gotta keep doing this until we get very high up, and then we will be able to jump on top of the base. Alright, yeah, I should be able to make it. Yep, there we go. There's a few missing hatches. The thing is, I'm scared to jump down, because we would just get stuck. But then again, we can just home, I guess. What's a weird- I don't know why they didn't put hatches, man. You know what, I'm just gonna go down. There's a- okay, there's a lot of doors. I think there's like an octagon type of base. It looks kind of cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well, uh, I think I need to go to base to get myself the C4. Yep, we're back. Croft 1. Lotus. Uh, we should have literally everything though. Grenades. Oh yeah, we need the tape. My bad. Actually, we do have quite a ton of tape to make to make leathers, but it's whatever. Alright, we are back. Uh, I'm gonna put it over over there. It's not gonna be enough. It takes 2C4. We'll claim it. Yep, was not enough, sadly. Alright, we are back. Let's check out if we get anything. I ever throw great. Oh, there's a body here, but... Two beds. A bunch of tape, that's good. I mean, better than nothing. And we're gonna need to farm again, man. <laughs> we got just one locker broken, but they should be quite damaged, actually. Hmm. It's alright. We'll return. I think I can bring the Brenter, actually, and shoot the locker that has loot on top of it. It should be already damaged. Yeah, it's no longer claimed. Huge. That's really, really good, actually. Now we can just take this base over. Not have to worry about counters. Where the hell did I put the Brenter? I don't even know where... Oh, there it is. It's right over there. I need to wait to TP. There's a cooldown. I really hope it's gonna be one shot. If it's gonna be one shot, then that's literally going to be so good. Hopefully there would be, like, gunpowder and that kind of stuff inside. That would literally... Just make me so happy, and I don't have to spend the next 30 minutes grinding again. Alright, yeah, we are back. Let's take Brenter out, Let's shoot it. Yep, and it was one shot. Oh, okay, well, military drive grenades, that's actually good. We got a sniper. It's pretty sn pretty good sniper, too, actually. Alright, I'm not too disappointed with this. I'm actually going to try to make a hatch so that we prevent counters. Yep, first one right over there. We need to make another one. Uh, we got a salvage a gun, a salvage a crazy, it's whatever. We have a bunch of crazies. And there we go. This is our base now. Alright, time to use the drive. And all of the crystals and flowers I got. Two lotuses. Great. Huge. One more. Get ourselves three lotuses. That's actually really, really good. That's basically 3C4. Alright, another dead zone run time. Please give me gunpowders. There's another airdrop passing by too, so, man. I don't know if we should go for it as well. I think my teammate may go for it, but can't really help from here. Managing to depot everything. My teammate is going for the airdrop. Should be somewhere very, very close, actually. And it's right over here. There's people there. Oh, they're dead. I think they're geared. Oh, bro. Oh, they are. Oh, my God. They have PMC and everything. Bro, I'm sliding everywhere. Bro, I can't stop sliding. Oh, they are geared penumbras and everything. Oh my god, this was definitely worth it coming here. Let's check out what the airdrop had. They didn't even loot the full airdrop. There's three more penumbras. Bro, we just got so much good loot, man. All right. Yeah, my teammate got full PMC, I'm pretty sure, as well. Oh, that's actually crazy. Let's take this drive. I am full of loot. I need to depot. I'm taking the penumbras, man. 
Bro, we actually got everything from this. These guys were geared. The airdrop was really good, though. I can't be happier, man. Bro, another airdrop is passing by. What? Airdrop's right here. Oh, he's right. What? Bro, my PC's lagging. Help. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, he got the airdrop. Oh, industrial copper. I'll take that. Bro, I don't know why my PC just lagged like that. Yeah, he. they got the drop. Oh, right, so we have enough C4. We're gonna go finish that raid. Um, but we tried to get this airdrop, obviously. Sadly, it was already looted, but industrial copper coil is nice. I think my teammate may have gotten some loot, so actually. But our next step is we're gonna go finish that base raid. Alright, so we're back in. Amazing, it's all, all lockers are still here. Alright, so we have 5C4. Um, hopefully it will be enough for all of these lockers. It should be, though. I think it takes one charge per locker, so... Yep, that broke, and... Okay, another gas mask, gunpowder, radio, a bunch of guns, a bunch of armored plates, fibers. That's actually not too bad. There's SWAT clothes, too. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, another C4 over there. Hopefully all four will break with one C4. And it did. Oh my god, okay, Brenter shots, there's people right above us. Grenades, tape, there's people with flares right above us. They're trying to counter us or something, but it's all sealed off. Another broken Gosmos, good. Yeah, they're literally right above. They need to raid to get through, though, unless it's their base. Oh, we got everything. We got all the good loot. Let's put the Brenter box in there. Yeah, we're done with this raid. Did we profit? I don't really know. I don't actually know, but we got a Brenter box, which is really good. We got a bunch of good junk, a bunch of guns. A bunch of materials, a bunch of high tier clothes, and I don't even know what my team got. So, me personally, I think we got some good loot. Alright, so I just placed everything on our shelves. Our lockers are starting to get full of loot. They're all stacked, man. We need more storage. Let's put the Dutto in there. I don't know if we should upgrade. Oh, my teammate got a lot of grenades from that. That's great. That's huge. Let's put them in here for now. Bro, this is a really good run. Very good wipe today. I mean, technically it's not wipe, but very good run, man. Running around full geared with highest tier of weapons. I'm almost full PMC. My teammate is full PMC. All right, time for our third raid. Two charges. I'll just blow up one for now. Yeah, it was done enough. And we are through. Looks like there's a bunch of junk there. Um, nothing crazy. Broken gas mask, chainsaw, tape. Copper. You know what? I'll take those. That's okay. All right, this one doesn't have anything. Gunpowder there, though. Take that. Here, we're all dumping everything. This base has three beds. Take the broken gas mask, the cotton. It's an easy industrial crate. Uh, grenade. There's a bunch of metal. I mean, if we salvage everything, we'll get a bunch of metal. So, at least we're getting something in return. Yeah, we'll take all of this metal and all of the rope. Gunpowder is great. We got at least two gunpowder in return. Oh, wait, it's live. Bro, this tower is live. Oh my god, there is no way. <laughs> there is no way. I've been farming ladders. Wait, actually, we'll place a bit further away. Oh, it's gonna be a bit of a pain. I'm making twig ladders, though, because it was claimed. Oh, wait, we can actually walk on them. Oh, thank god. All right, so I'll just build up while my teammate covers. I need to farm more trees. Finally, we found a live base. We've been looking for a live base for so long, man. There we go. We got ourselves another twig. Yeah, I'm, sc I'm using tape this time. Got a lot of tape from the previous raid, and th that's why I got a lot on me right now. I still have the raiding gear and the loot we got from that raid on me. So if we die, we would lose basically all the loot we got from that raid. They're not gonna expect this, probably. All right, now as for the final ladder, I should have one more. I just have no idea where I put it, bro. Where is it? I don't see it. Did I even make it? Bro, I don't even see it. Am I blind? That's a normal ladder. It's not a twig ladder. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump down, salvage the bottom one, and then we could just jump for the second one, and we'll use this one. Yeah, I don't see it in my inventory at all, man. <laughs> if I'm blind, then I'm just blind. And right, we're gonna get on top. There we go. I had to jump, or I was just trying to clip to the ones that I've already placed. And this guy's not even peeking. He's just hiding inside. Now right, we're at the top. Great. Alright, so the thing is, um, we only have one C4, but then we have a lot of Brenter shots. So we're gonna have to put a C4, and we're going to have to use the Brenter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the Brenter from base. Actually, no, my teammate has it in his vault. That's perfect. Alright, let's just place it. I need the Brenter, though, before we actually start. And there we go, we got it. Let's get ourselves a box. Unbox it. Oh, we need to reload. It should be enough, though. Yep, we're through. Alright, my teammate broke bed. Oh, he's right down there. Oh, there's a car up here. What? Oh, yeah, my teammate killed him huge. He destroyed the banner. There we go. Get a bunch of junk. How the hell did they get a car up here? Alright, it doesn't matter. Let's just raid these lockers with Brenter ammo. We should have plenty. Let's put the Detto in vault. Let's raid the smaller ones first. It only takes three shots. Hopefully, they'll have some good loads. I don't know if they're below us hiding. 
Oh my god, all right, there's a full mercenary outfit. I'll take that. Get myself a bigger backpack finally. Oh wait, no, that's where PMC. I thought I had normal clothes. All right, one more shot and this locker will break. There we go, and a bunch of guns, walnuts, false chairs. Let's trade the larger ones now. Yeah, we broke all of the claim flags, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's ones in the tower. Alright, so we've already used 10 shots. I still have 10 more shots. Pretty sure I have more ammo in, in base though. And I'm pretty sure we can make another C4 to be honest. Alright, this one broke. Oh, nothing good. They just have a bunch of guns by the looks of it. Oh, let's raid the one that has a tank trap in it. I think it takes 5 shots to break one. And you're on the third shot, I'm pretty sure. Fourth shot. And I hear them build. They're somewhere around. The Alright, this one broke. Looks like a bunch of more guns. There's another Brenter though. I'll take that. That's good. Alright, we may have enough to break this one then. Because it may be damaged from the C4. Alright, we have two more shots. Yeah, I can make another charge. For sure. Yeah, we are out. I can make another charge. We got gunpowder from the other raid. Let's check all the good loot from here. Night visions. They have sentry parts. Nice, my teammate killed somebody huge. Let's take the good loot, depot, and then I'll return. There's a lot of good loot, and there's a lot of PvP guns mostly. And, we'll, you know, PvP guns are always good. Now I'm back with charge. Maybe a lot. I know it needs only one Brenzer bullet, but we don't have. But it's whatever. Hopefully, we'll break the floor. We didn't. Uh, Deto, Penumbra, a bunch of guns. Now, this trade was okay. We used a lot. We used 20 shots and 2 C4. But we did get ourselves a lot of good ish stuff we're gonna salvage all of these guns that we don't need so we get metal and ammo but let's let's head off from this base raid so the guys the, the owners of the base i don't know i think they left or something now, as a celebration what we're going to be doing is we're just gonna fish we're gonna fish a bit in the safe zone hopefully we'll get ourselves some okay loot Time for another airdrop. Uh, okay, good loot. I'm getting shot at. I'm getting completely lasered at, actually. I'm just gonna take loot and I'm gonna dip. There's a Brenter box. Vaulting the Brenter box. I still have fishing stuff on me, man. Bro, I missed. Oh, there's a lot of people, actually. Jesus. We got a PMC backpack, too. Vaulted. That's really, really good. Right, let's switch to Penumbra. This guy's flying, man. Let's get ourselves a full box. Oh, there's a guy there. So many people. Dead. Let's see, except TPA. Check out what loot he had. I think he was kind of geared. There's more people around. Oh, there's so many. He's hiding somewhere back there. This guy. Oh, this guy had some okay loot. It's a full outfit. Bro, this loot on normal loot server is actually crazy good. Oh, my teammate's getting shot at. Let's jump down. We could just dip, actually. We have so much loot on us. We could just leave and get out of here. Let's take this guy's good loot. I didn't even loot the guy I killed. I think my teammate got it though. Honestly, it doesn't matter. We have so much on us. There's a guy here. Dead. Any good loot, bro. And some good okay stuff. Alright, everybody. After that PvP, we homed. And then that's when we called it a day. It was a really, really fun run. A lot of good PvP. A lot of good loot. A lot of good raiding too. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.